So you want to ship your products from your supplier's location directly to Amazon's fulfillment center. This is a very common question that I receive, and in the past, the past two years, I've made a video on this topic on how to actually do this. Now, Amazon uh, has recently changed their shipment plan, so now you have to go through some of the same hurdles, but in a different interface, and that is why I'm making this video for this year. So we're gonna follow the same steps, uh, show you step-by-step -step how we can actually get one of my products, this is one of my golf trainers, we're gonna send 100 units of that from our supplier's location directly to our Amazon Fulfillment Center or centers. We'll end up finding that out. So first off, before you even go ahead, create your listing and create your shipment plan, you need to ask your supplier a range of questions which I have outlined here. These are five questions that you need to know some information about your supplier's location, how they're gonna prep and package all of your units. That way you can tell Amazon that in the shipment plan. So the first question, ask your supplier what is their current address that they are gonna be shipping these products from. Now this ship from address is really only used in case your products are gonna be returned um, or if they reach a different location, they need to be sent back. That's really all this is gonna be used for. Um, in addition to Amazon figuring out that, hey, these are coming from China, let me find the nearest fulfillment center, which is either gonna be in you know, somewhere in the East Coast or somewhere on the West Coast, more than likely. Second, you need to ask your supplier what type of shipping paper are they going to use for the Amazon box ID label. This is uh, either going to be just regular printing paper or thermal printer paper. Uh, you need to ask them that question. Three, the shipping carrier and the freight method. Uh, is it going to be sent via air or via ocean? This is useful information to know. And then the last two questions here, uh, the number of units per case and how many cases. So this is very important. Uh, it's a lot of information that goes into your Amazon box ID label or labels um, is, you know, how many units are actually going to be in each one of these cases? Is there just going to be one case, one package, or are there going to be multiple boxes that all of these units are going to be stored into? And lastly is the shipment packing, which is really just asking the question, are you going to put everything into one box, all of my units, or are there going to be multiple boxes? And then ask, based on that answer, uh, what are the box dimensions and what is the weight of each box if there's more than one? So go ahead and do this. You can do this through the Alibaba Messenger with your supplier. Ask them these five questions. Feel free to copy and paste this and, and form it into a question. And uh, that way you have this information going into the shipment plan. Now, once we've done that, you can head over to Amazon Seller Central on your desktop and uh, make sure that you go to your Manage Inventory. Now, you may see your range of products. I filtered this down just to this product, this ASIN that we're discussing today and it should be shown here. Now, if you do not have the product listed, you're not going to be able to create a shipment plan and therefore you cannot send your products directly from your supplier to Amazon. So you'll have to go ahead and list your product first and I'll put a video in the cards right now so you can learn how to do that. So once you've listed it and you see your product here, go over to the right side here where the edit button is. Click the drop down, and you'll see a range of different menu items that pop up. We are gonna be clicking the send replenish inventory. Once you click this, it's gonna load for a second and then you'll be brought to a screen which is our actual shipment plan. If you are an Amazon seller back in 2019 or 2020, this will look very different, but a lot of the same steps do apply. This is just a more streamlined version that Amazon has created. So the first step is step one, which is actually choosing our inventory that we plan to send. And as you'll see, there's a ship from right here. Now, I, my current address is located on here, so I have that blurred out, but we'll select ship from another address. And this is where we're going to input the supplier's address. Once you click that, select add contact, and this is gonna be bringing you to a new screen which you'll actually input the supplier's information. So hopefully you have all this information from your supplier. I will show you how you can actually go ahead and find this information if you, you, know, you don't wanna get in contact with your supplier or you're trying to figure out what your shipment options are gonna be looking like. So what you want to do if you're ordering from Alibaba, go to your listing page for your products and down in the bottom right, you'll see the supplier's badge. Select the supplier link and you'll be brought to their supplier page, their storefront for Alibaba. Now you wanna hover over their name, which is right here, and then go down to contact detail. Scroll down about midway through the page and you'll see the company contact information. And this is all the information that we need for their address. So we'll jump back to Amazon and we'll select their country. We know they're located in China. Now the company name is optional. I usually put it just because I have it. So copy that, paste it in there. Okay, make it look nice. 
Next is the street address. So this is gonna be all this information the whole way up to here. And if you're unsure, just make sure you ask your supplier. They'll provide you um, all the correct information that you need. Next, we'll jump down to city. City is gonna be here. Copy and paste that. District will lead the same and state, province, region. This is gonna be right here. See if we can find it. Type G in, popped up. All right, next is the zip postal code. Ask your supplier for that information if you cannot find it. More than likely, it's not gonna actually be on here um, with their address. You could look up the, the province and the district and the city to see exactly where that is, what zip code it's located in, or you could just type in their company name and search that on Google to figure out what their zip code is gonna be. Um, if it doesn't pop up, just go ahead and ask your supplier. And then lastly, we wanna put in the phone number of your supplier. Once you have all that information in there, click update address and then select it right there. Now your ship from address should change from whatever it was before. It may have been your location. It should be your supplier's location now. All right, so marketplace destination. Where are these products going to be going? For me, it's going to the United States. If you're selling in Canada or the UK, make sure you select the country that you'll be selling these products in. Next, we'll scroll down here and we'll see the SKU details. Make sure this is the product that you want to be shipping. If you're shipping more than one product under one shipment plan, you can select all FBA SKUs and you can select multiple products. For us, we'll just be shipping this one product. Next, we'll go to the packing details and this is the information about your SKU and how they're packed. Are there gonna be more than one SKU in a single box? Very important information. For demonstration purposes, we'll go ahead and select create new case pack template. And once you select that, you're gonna be met with the pack and details. You can give this a name in case you wanna use it again for repeat orders. We'll just say um, putting trainer template, okay? And then next, units per box. This is where that one uh, piece of information that we asked our supplier, how many units are we gonna put into a single box? For us, it's gonna be 100 units, and they told us the box is gonna be a 12 by 12 by 12. And the weight is gonna be around 50 pounds, okay? Next, go down here where it says prep category, and we have no prep needed. Now, if you're selling something that it could be sharp, um, you know, it's a liquid, you, may, you want to make sure that you add that information in here and you select it. Now, for these, they're a fairly simple product. There really isn't anything on this product that needs to be additionally prepared, so we'll select no prep needed, and then we'll click save, and then no labeling required. So this SKU uses manufacturing barcodes for tracking, so it's gonna use the UPC that's on it. You could still go ahead and print out your fulfillment network stock keeping unit or your FN SKU labels later on in case you wanna use those instead. But they're just telling me I do not have to go ahead and use the Amazon FN SKU label. Click save. Next, verify the packing details has changed to your template and it's not on an older template or um, it's still asking you to create a new one. Verify the information and action right here. We selected 100 units per box, no prep needed, no labeling required, that makes sense. So we're only shipping 100 units to Amazon and our supplier told us that we only have one box. Now you could go ahead and say in the future you want to ship 300 units. You can, and, the, and your supplier is gonna package them the same way. You could select three boxes here and you can just use that template from before to streamline this process. After that, click ready to send. Amazon is gonna calculate if there's any total prep or labeling fees based off of the template that we have here. They confirm that there is none, so that'll be zero dollars. Once you confirm that, click confirm and continue. Now labeling does cost around 30 cents per unit if you want them to actually label your products for you. It's just something to keep in mind. Okay, for step two, we are gonna confirm our shipping details. Now for this scenario, we are just going to assume that our supplier is gonna handle the shipping for us um, and they're gonna speak with the carrier and get those products to Amazon. Now it may be an option for you to actually go ahead and purchase shipping on your, your own behalf, especially with you know, how crazy the rates are right now. Uh, we'll also cover that here in a second. But this ship date, this is when your supplier is actually gonna ship them from China or their location. This is another question you may wanna ask your supplier. If you're unsure, if they're unsure, just use the best case estimate if they're gonna be shipping the product. So let's say they told us two weeks from today, they're gonna to be shipping the products. So we'll select the 22nd. Next is our shipping mode. Is this a small parcel delivery? Is it gonna be packaged into boxes? Or are we actually gonna put this on pallets because we have you know 20 boxes? 
For us, we just have one box with 100 units. This is gonna be small parcel delivery. Next is gonna tell you if you have more than one shipments. So sometimes Amazon, they have the right to say, hey, I want you to ship 50 units here and 50 units to another fulfillment center. Um, there are settings that you can adjust so you can only ship to one, but then you pay Amazon a fee to transfer those to the next. Uh, for us, luckily, uh, we only have to ship to one location. That's in Dallas, Texas. So just confirm that information. There's nothing you have to do here. And then scroll down to select the shipping carrier. Now we've confirmed with our supplier that they will be using DHL to get the products from their location to Amazon. So I wanna just make sure we add that in here, DHL. And if it's uh, another international uh, carrier that you're unaware of or that is not listed here, select other and add that information. All right, and then confirm here, if you have any shipping fees, so say you were to use the partnered carrier from Amazon and pay for the shipping through Amazon, which you know, it's not usually likely for um, international shipping, um, they will actually put the shipping fees here and that will come out of your balance at the end of your billing cycle. For us, we're paying our supplier to handle the shipping with DHL. We do not have to worry about it and it should be $0 right here. Click accept charges and confirm shipping. All right, and we are on to our last step here, which is step number three, print out our box labels. So this is the box label that's gonna go on the outside of our single box, the outside of, the, of all 100 units, that box that all of them are in. Um, and that will tell Amazon once they scan it, what's inside the store information, you know, be in my store, and uh, how many units and the weight and all that information and where it came from. So that brings us back to the question that we asked our supplier, what type of printing paper are you going to be using for the box ID label? For us, they told us that it's gonna be thermal printing, four by six inches. So just make sure you select the correct one here. Now, if you're unsure, or if they really do not have a preference, US letter or A4 is gonna be just fine. Uh, they'll be able to work with that. Once you select that, click print, and you're gonna be brought to a PDF, which is your actual box ID label. There are a couple things that we want to confirm here. One is gonna be, it's gonna say FBA and then more than likely your store or your personal name here. I blurred it out for me. Um, and then this is the actual location that your Amazon products are gonna be delivered to. The second thing to confirm, and I know you cannot read Chinese more than likely, uh, but just confirm the English portion of the address. Make sure that that is your supplier's name, uh, the city and uh, the province and the zip code. Just confirm all of those. And then the last thing to check is just your SKU. Viveray Golf Trainer, that is the SKU for my product. And then this should be the total amount of units, which is 100. After that, you can go ahead and click Save. So that's your downloads, your desktop. And then you want to send that box ID label to your supplier and let them know that this is the Amazon FBA box ID label. All right, we'll jump back here to our uh, steps. We'll click Proceed to enter tracking details. And once this pops up, there's really nothing for you required to do. You do not have to add your tracking ID, but if you want to, you can add that DHL tracking ID number that we selected or whatever your carrier's tracking ID number is, add that in there and click save. After doing that, your shipment plan has now been created and you can go ahead and you can wait for your products to arrive at Amazon. Now, with that being said, there are three things that you need to provide your supplier in order to make everything go smoothly. The first one is the ship to address. And to find that, you wanna go back to step three here and you want to copy this where it says ship to. You'll copy that and you'll provide that to your supplier. Now this ship to information is already on the Amazon box ID label that we just took a look at. So you know they're gonna have that information if you send them that ID label, but it's always best just to put that in Messenger and to say, hey, this is where the products are gonna be going. Make sure this is where you ship them to, not my address. The second thing is to provide them the Amazon box ID label that we covered, send that to them in PDF form. If they need it in another form, ask them and then convert that if needed. And the last thing that we need to provide our supplier are the FN SKU labels or these barcodes that are right here. Let's see if you can see that. So those are the Amazon generated barcodes that store all of your product information. Now, if you do recall previously in this video, Amazon did say that I can use the manufacturer's barcode and I don't have to do this, but honestly, I always go ahead and just do it to take one extra step. Um, that way my products do not get lost or they do not get mixed up with another store. I'm not fully confident in Amazon's fulfillment centers just quite yet. So what we'll need to do is provide our supplier all of these barcodes um, in a PDF form so they can print them out and they can label each individual unit. To obtain these barcodes after you've created your listing, after you've created your shipment plan, 
go back to manage inventory, find your product, and again, next to the edit button, select that drop down, and you're gonna be met with some pop-ups. What you want to do is click print item labels, and then you want to select the number of units. So we're gonna put 100 here because we are shipping 100 units, and we want one unit per product. Lastly, you may wanna change this based off of the uh, supplier's recommendation. Ask them what type of sticker type uh, more than likely they have the 30 up labels they can use that and uh, print those out and apply them to your products but if they have a request to put on a4 paper for example or they want to do 24 up labels select that and then click print item labels once you do that just click ok and then amazon will download a products pdf for you now what you're seeing here is this exact label that i have on my product that my supplier will end up putting on and there's a hundred exact barcodes on this right here um, if you want to take another step, if your product's being made in a different country of origin, you can ask your supplier to put right next to where it says new or used, whatever it is for you, uh, put made in China. That's just an easy way of putting the country origin on your product packaging without having to take an extra step and put in a different label on it. All right. So at this point, you now know what to send to your supplier. You know what information to ask from your supplier, and you know every single step with the new Amazon interface of how to create that shipment plan. Make sure to subscribe if you're looking forward to updated tutorials here for this year. And I wish you guys the best of luck in getting your products to Amazon.